Hello guys, as we all know that we use Google account to access Google Play Store in any Android device and when we come to an iPhone, we need an account known as Apple ID to access the App Store but not only the App Store, this Apple ID gives us to the ease of enabling many more such as FaceTime, iMessages as well as Apple Pay services. So, in today's vlog, we are going to discuss how to create an Apple ID. Hey guys, please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon for latest updates. We can create the Apple ID in the official website of Apple. And we can also create Apple ID in the iCloud page, which is entirely related to Apple and we can also create the apple id in the itunes store now we are going to see how to create an apple id from an iphone go to settings and click on sign into the apple then if you have the apple id you can directly log into that and now we don't know in this scenario we have to click on don't have an apple id or forgot it click on the create apple id and then set up your date of birth after that enter your last name as well as first name before you enter the last name and then click on next now in this page you will find two options by clicking on the first option you will move to the page where you can use your existing or already existing email account such as google or yahoo account for signing into the apple id or for the creation of your own apple id if in case you choose the second option you have to create another new account or email id for setting up your apple id now in this page you have to set up your own password for your apple id setting up a password is a very logical trick we have to use minimum 12 characters for a strong password by clicking on next you will be moving to the next page where you have to enter your phone number after entering your phone number there are two ways to verify your own phone number by default by text message is selected and by clicking on next you will be moving to a verification page where a six digit unique code is sent as a text message for your device so that you can verify your own phone number. then by clicking on next you will be moving to the next page where you are held with some terms and conditions you need to accept all these terms and conditions and click on agree then in the next page you are allowed to create a passcode which helps you to unlock your device now you need to verify your email id which you have given before for logging into the apple id for this you need to check the inbox of your email where you will find a mail from the apple which contains a unique code of six digits you need to enter that unique code here for the verification process the first two steps are done and the email as well as phone verification is done successfully now by clicking on payment and shipping option there we have to click on the payment mode which is selected by default as none and after that by clicking on next you are allowed to type all your payment related details and there the first name and last name are decoded automatically and the further details are hit to be added after entering your shipping details and your address now you are allowed to add your card details the payment card details by selecting credit or debit card after entering the card number and by clicking on next you will find empty space where you need to enter the expiry date of the card as well as the security code next we need to click on save now the card is saved very successfully 
and there is no need of worrying about the payment issues and criteria. Our card details and our bank details are encrypted and even Apple can't see all these confidential details. And after this process, there may be a deduction of 60 to 70 rupees from our card and they will be debited again soon. This deduction is only for the verification process. This deduction takes place only once at the first moment and this saving of card helps us in ease of transaction while purchasing any apps or games or many more. And the people who are not interested or feel unsecured to enter the card details can opt the option called none. So there is no issue of entering your car details. Now click on add shipping address. Here we can opt the shipping address as well as billing address same or different according to our vision and will. Now click on done and come back from the payment and shipping page. Next there will be a pop up asking whether this Apple ID can be used for the app store or not. By clicking on continue, you are agreeing with the term and going ahead. Next, by clicking on review, the Apple ID setup is completed and Apple ID is created successfully. And here by clicking on continue, this Apple ID enables the ease of each and every service provided by Apple. Thanks for watching.